Hello and welcome to A Call for Help, a short little RPG horror game developed by c 2 Fos, available on Itch.io. Uh, if you don't know the developer, they're the same person who made, I believe, Missing and Sweet Dreams. You know, the games that involve, I believe, like a Yandere train conductor, I want to say. I don't, know. I don't know if they're train conductor, but something to do with a train. <laughs> anyway. But I guess we'll see what's in store for these guys. You know, apparently we need a call for help, uh, like for a friend or something, because something's happened. I guess we'll see. A little content warning, though. Uh, this game is a horror game, so there may be some disturbing content. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's start. New game. Me. But where's my phone? Can I save the game? You know, I just instantly want to save the game. We are student, level 1, HP 1. A student at the local community college, currently pursuing a degree in computer science. Likes gaming. This is like, I don't know, like 80% of like Reddit. I feel like this is just a typical average Redditor. I call someone? Uh, Cameron says, Hey nerd, what's up? Sorry, life really caught up to me, so I haven't been able to take any calls. Anyway, uh, Jesus. What happened to you in Rome? Looks like a dump, no offense. Oh, are we doing like a FaceTime call or whatever? I never do that, that's like weird to me. Hey bro, you okay? Hey. I... Yo, deep breaths, man. You're okay. You're okay. You want to talk about it? That's fine. Hey, it's been a while. How about a room tour? Or a quick cleanup session? You're literally living in trash right now. That can't be healthy. You clean up that while I'm here. How's that? Okay. MC looks emo. You look like a typical protagonist. Also, Cameron's here? Oh, okay. I guess we just called Cameron over. I thought we were still calling. We we're still calling, and then he just came over. Like a party member, you know, you just recruit him real quick. Uh, Cameron, a high school dropout. Speak, pick up all jobs here and there. Lead guitarist for an indie band. Wow. Also, I noticed the posters on the wall. I feel like I've seen these two somewhere before. <laughs> yeah, th this is literally the, the developer's previous games. You used to talk about how much you wanted to play the guitar. I thought it might be popular with girls. Of course you did, Virgin. And how is it? Honestly, a lot harder than I expected. My fingers can't really reach the tabs. I'm scared of getting blisters. That's all part of the process. No pain, no gain. Getting cows is our rite of passage. Keep it up and who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll catch up to me. You left me some pretty big shoes to fill. Is that electric guitar? Not so, uh, electric guitar, as far as I know, is not so bad. I mean, I, I practice with acoustic guitar. I, I'm, I mean, not recently, to be honest. I'm like... <laughs> I have not touched a guitar in years, but I like I did acoustic guitar and those at least the one I had like steel strings. Those definitely give you way you know stronger calluses. Anyway, I, compared to electric, I feel like electric is not as bad. I, I, but maybe I I haven't tried electric all that much. Uh, you haven't unpacked these yet? No. There's a lot of good stuff inside, handpicked for you. I don't feel like opening them. They're kind of taking up space in your room. Why don't you move them to the garage then? I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. You know, drink is a lot more fun when you do with friends. We used to have beer nights. To this day, I still don't know how you were able to get your hands on that much alcohol without a valid ID. That's that's criminal behavior. You should go to jail. No, uh, a bro never reveals his secrets. Let's clean these up. Make sure to recycle them. I hear ya. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. You've always been a lightweight. Then I throw up on you once. I oh, am yeah, on my favorite shirt too. I'd haul your drunk ass back home. I still feel bad about that. I promise to buy you a new one. Sorry for never getting around to doing that. Nah, no worries. I weigh too many clothes anyway. Now clean these up. Make sure to put them in a recycling bin too. You're such an environmentalist. That the monitor? Yeah, uh, 24, uh, uh, two, four, two, yeah. I, I, I can't speak. 240 hertz. 
240 hertz. Isn't that like a lot? <laughs> That's like way too much? Sick, how's it feel? I think it's smoother. I can't really tell the difference. There isn't much of change in gameplay. New setup and you so garbage to the game. I kicked your ass in that 1v1, remember? I was lagging. Let's run it back then. Can't. Don't have my ship anymore, remember? Wow, you got a lot of unopened messages. I don't really feel like going through them. You shouldn't go some like that. At this rate, you're gonna lose whatever friends you have left. I really hate you sometimes. My bad, but my point still stands. So worried about you, you know? I know, but it just all feels really tiring. How long has it been since you last left your house? Two weeks. <laughs> what are you, a Mori? Like, this is just a Mori, by the way. No, um, are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I know. Are these washed or unwashed? Uh, both? Gross. Do your laundry, man. Wait. Aren't those the gloves from that time? When? Remember? It was last year. Went on that ski trip. Yo. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Getting kind of cold out here, huh? Oh, sh You forgot to bring my gloves with you, didn't you? I may or may not. Have left them back at the lodge. I strangled you, but my fingers are frozen stiff. So did your jacket not have pockets? No, idiot. That's why I asked you to bring my gloves along in the first place. Oh, sorry. My pockets are warm if you want to stick your hands inside. I'd rather have them amputated. Fine. Here, take one of my gloves. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh? That's not, that word is ruined for me. Bruh. Better? Uh, a little. We cool? Buy me a burger and I'll call it even. Okay, well, that was a flashback, supposedly. Well, that didn't help at all. We both ended up freezing. Good times. Good burger, too. Now go and toss these in the washing machine. Right now? Yes. Fine. Okay, we stuff it in our pockets, in our inventory. Just a lamp. Just a lamp. It's only just a lamp. Oh, dude, you still ball? Not as much anymore. Man, I remember we used to play for hours at the corner after school. Joe had the sickest dunks, remember? Dude was flashy with it. And Nick had that crazy footwork going on. Jay and Adrian, too. Their combo was deadly. The time would just fly by. I miss those days. Yeah. Me too. What's this? It's, it's, it's the bros. This guy, you know, the, the bottom right is doing a Kamehameha. <laughs> Uh, the blonde kid, though, at least at the top right, he's so smug. Why is he so smug? He's hiding a secret. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, was well, that the group photo we took that one time? Uh, no clue what you're talking about. Uh, you got it framed and everything. Whatever, man. I appreciate my friends. You could just say you love us. No, that's cringe. You love us. No. You say it. No. Say it. No. Whatever. Kill joy. Okay. Uh, anything else to look at? I guess that's it. Oh, oh, actually, this chair. More like a stool. <laughs> you know, that's what it looks like to me. You're still using this chair? Yeah. Things practically falling apart. Get a new one. If it works, it works. You're gonna get back problems, young man. Okay, Grandpa. Honestly, you can have my old chair if you want. It's still in relatively good condition. We could be butt buddies who share the same chair. Indirect butt touching. Uh, no thanks. Okay. Now, uh, throw these out. It's starting to stink. Yeah, I probably should. I don't know how you're letting it get to this point. This is bad. I know. I remember your first time coming over to my place? Yeah, what about it? You tripped into my trash bag. Is this about the pickle incident? Oh, yes, it is about the pickle incident. You really need to stop bringing that up all the time. It's funny. They call me the pickler throughout the entirety of middle school. And that's on you for spilling pickle juice all over my carpet. That's on you for having pickle juice in the trash bag. Sure, sure, pickle boy. Now throw your trash before you step into it and make a repeat of last time. Well, that's everything, I think. You probably still need to air the place out, but at least it's somewhat livable now. Cam? Yeah? Can I say something? I'm listening. I've been feeling overwhelmed these past two weeks, with everything. Nothing feels right. Nothing feels like it has, had, has any meaning. I'm so angry, and I'm so sad. 
I'm so frustrated, confused, and guilty, and just... I feel so many things at once that I just can't process it. I'm stuck. I'm trapped in this constant hell while the world moves on. And it's just so tiring. Every little thing is so tiring. Talking is tiring. Eating is tiring. Living is tiring. I spend hours and hours just crying in my room. I cry until I can't cry anymore and I cry some more. Isn't that mean? <laughs> just like, cry some more? Anyway. But no matter how much I scream and cry and suffer and hurt, I don't feel any better. The bad things stay with me. It's like a constant fight. I'm too exhausted to even breathe. I can't function. I can't do anything. I'm constantly on the verge of breaking down. And it hurts. It hurts a lot. I feel like I'm being ripped apart. I don't want to live with it anymore. I don't think I can live with it any anymore. Or I don't think I can live with it anymore. I know it's supposed to get better, but I'm not getting any better. I don't feel any better. I can't wrap my head around it, that this person does not exist anymore. That I'll never be able to see their face, hear their voice, or, or give them a hug, and I... I feel so bad, Cam. I feel so, so bad. I took so much of it for granted, I, I realize that now. And the worst part is, I'll never be able to tell them that. I'll never be able to look them in the eye and tell them how much I appreciate and love them. I'll never be able to, to let them know how much they mean to me. I can only regret. I can only think about all the what-ifs. Was there something I could have done to prevent this? I could have been more attentive. I could have been a better friend. I, I could have... Cam. Cam, are you there? Why'd you do it? Why didn't you tell me about it? Why did you let me know? If you did, I, I would have been there. I would have dropped everything and been there. I didn't want your monitor or new, a new chair or a new this or new that. I just... I want my best friend back. Cam, are you there? I called your phone every day for the past two weeks. I would wait and wait, hoping you'd pick up, that I'd hear your voice at the other end, laughing, calling me an idiot for believing you were actually gone. That was all some big misunderstanding, or a stupid prank. But it would just ring. It would just ring. Cam, are you listening? I miss you, Cam. And the voicemail! Alright. Well, obviously, Cameron never existed. Because I thought, yeah, they'd like teleport into our room somehow, doing FaceTime or whatever. But they know they never listened. It's just a hallucination because Cam is dead. At least uh, that's the implication anyway. Alright, I guess that's it. It's very short. This is a very short little story, I guess. We don't know all these other characters, but we know Cameron. So the idea is Cameron and the main character, who is, I guess, me, and their name was never, like, mentioned. So really, it's just a story about how Cameron got into some kind of incident, I guess, and died. And, like, obviously, a friend of him is, like, very sad. And quite literally depressed, you know, and he was, he was just kind of like, he was calling just to hear his voicemail, I guess, like message, and then pretending that he was still around. All right, let's, uh, so we have my phone. Let's end the call. What am I doing? Why even bother? I was never a fighter. I'm just tired. I just want to rest. You were tired of feeling this way too, right? I understand now. See you soon, Cam. Uh, that's kind of dark. <laughs> oh my... Do-do-do. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, everyone. I hope I didn't leave a mess. I love you guys. Please take care. All right, that's the, um, that's an ending. Anyway. <laughs> oh, here you go. Uh, so th this is new. I will say, I look great in that photo. Who took it anyway? 
Beats me. I know uh, more about it as much as you do. I kind of miss it. The good old days. Yeah. How's everyone doing anyway? I'm not sure either. I fell, out the, I fell out of contact with most of them after they all left for university. I know a few of the guys are in town right now, though, and since they're in the area anyway, they wanted to meet up. Wait, for real? When is it? Tomorrow. I don't really feel like going, though. You should, man. Seriously. I bet they miss you as much as you miss them. Will you be there, too? You know I want to. I can't believe you're giving me shit for not going when you aren't either. Hey, man. I can't exactly just drop by whenever I want. You used to. We're not kids anymore. And we're all these busy adulting now. I wish they didn't. I wish we never grew up. Uh, so where's your secret stash? What secret stash? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. You're gross, dude. I bet it's that shady looking folder labeled will work. Open it? No. <laughs> okay. And not much else to do. Okay. Cam. Oh, oh this is different. Uh, Cam. He said. I'll call the guys and tell them I'm coming tomorrow. We're gonna have lunch at your favorite place and then we'll pay a visit to the grave. You'll be there too, right? I'll bring flowers. I'll bring a jar of pickles too. <laughs> yeah, because of the pickle incident. I think you appreciate that. See you later, Cam. Take it easy. End of voicemail. It's a long voicemail. You're never really gone. Traces of you remain. I carry you with me. And we move forward. With a jar of pickles, by the way. funny. There was a jar of pickles there. Uh, there you go. I, I guess that's the good ending, in a way. That's the uh, healthy coping mechanism ending, where you go visit the grave of your best friend with your other friends and reminisce about the good times. And, uh, you know, don't spiral... In, you know, into a deep depression and then freaking die. So, there you go. Okay. I guess that's it. This short little story. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, it's short enough that in Overstay, it's a welcome. It had like a, a little twist to it and everything that I liked. Uh, you know, I, I actually did not know the twist was coming initially. I kind of like halfway through, I had my suspicions, you know. Um, but yeah, it is. It is an interesting little twist that uh, is tr tragic, you know, and kind of sad. Um, but I like it. I don't know. I like sad games. I don't know. Especially when it's like, you know, it depends, right? I like games where it doesn't like um, go like, oh, woe is me, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, like Shakespeare or whatever. Uh, like it doesn't wallow in its misery <laughs> the whole time. But, like, there's ups and downs, you know? I mean, I don't know. It's like anime. <laughs> but, like, I, I like having, like, an interesting little story. It has dark themes to it. But ultimately, you know, it, it's still, like, has, like, a meaningful message to it, I guess. You know? And is it, like, pretentious? But, like, I guess pretentiousness is, like, it, it's very dependent on what you like as a person. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, again, yeah, not much to say. It's, I mean, I, I, I like it. Um, it, you know, it's funny enough, I, I was thinking the game, like, I had my suspicions of whether or not it was actually connected to the developer's other games as well, because it does involve, like, death of, like, a close one, and I don't know, maybe I'm just grasping straws, eh, probably not, but I'm just thinking, like, maybe if Cameron maybe was a victim of, like, the first game, I don't think so, I mean, it's been a while, so I don't remember... The characters. I, I I just remember the you know the main like villain. I guess quote unquote you know, the white hair and everything. But I don't remember if he killed someone named Cameron. I don't think so. But it would be kind of an interesting way to tie that in if Cameron was actually one of the victims and you know how this kind of affected other people, right? Because you don't think about that, I guess you know, when you know, when someone dies, depending on you know depending on the the story, I guess, or like in a movie or whatever in a TV show, you know, some random dude dies, you don't think about how all the other people that are affected by this person's death, you know. So it's like it's interesting to like just dive into that and be like, wow, okay, you know how this actually affects other people's lives. They're not just a random generic NPC. These are people with like, you know, with, 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 with stories, you know, and, and like entire like uh, webs of relationships of other people. But anyway, um, 
but probably not it, there probably isn't any connection because obviously there's even like an easter egg you know like a, a clear reference to the other game so like i don't think that's actually a thing as far as i know anyway and then again one of the endings in the second game also got kind of weird and like meta anyway but yeah that's it for this game i guess i'll say my usual thing and uh you know if you're watching this uh on my channel and you want to see more content then you can do so by looking at my other playthroughs you can also look for the you know my other playthroughs of the same developer actually you want to see more um not maybe as tragic but definitely kind of like in their same style you know same art style at least um and if you want to you can also subscribe uh, to see more and change the bell notifications from personalized to all if you want to catch me live because if you didn't know I, I stream these games live as well but there you go thanks for watching until next time see you then